Hey, welcome back everybody. We have another TTM video to get to. We didn't have one on Monday, so we've got 12 today in this video. We've got to get right to it. The first one, as you saw, was Parts Unknown. We're sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards, photographs, through the mail. This is the cleanest envelope I think has ever arrived here. Let's see who this is. Send them to our favorite athletes with a self-addressed stamped envelope. There's Mike Haynes already. Beauty. We got a slappable moment right off the bat. How about that? 77 rookie card. Hall of Famer. 69-year-old cornerback. One of the greatest defensive backs of all time. Pro Football Hall of Fame in 97. College Football Hall of Fame from Arizona State in 2000. 46 career interceptions. NFL's 75th anniversary all-time team. 100th anniversary all-time team. That's his rookie card, ladies and gents. Sweet. 14 seasons. Seven with the Pats, seven with the Raiders. The Raiders. Nine times in the Pro Bowl. Had a new address. Sent that to. He stopped signing for about a year or longer. I sent five bucks with that. That's pretty cool. Just over about a month. Let's see here. 28 days. $5 fee. Mike Haynes. He's back, baby. South Suburban Illinois coming up next. Sticky, sticky. Steve Trout. Not Mike Trout, Steve Trout. Mike Trout doesn't sign baseball cards. 88 Donruss, 86 tops with a little crease there. And 83 tops traded. Yep. And we got a note. I also do pitching lessons from on your cell phone video. Pretty cool. Look me up on Cameo for a special shout out. I have a pitching book, 20 pitching tips. Kids book titled Lucy Goosey. Pretty cool. There's your addresses in case you want to contact Mr. Trout. That's really cool. And he's the son of famous uh, pitcher from the 40s and 50s, Dizzy Trout. He won about 170 games, I think, in his career. That's uh, Steve Trout's dad. So Steve Trout, what's his story? 65-year-old left-handed pitcher, 12 seasons. 78 to 89. And first five with the White Sox and next five as a Cubs legend. Pretty cool. Eight days, no fee. Son of legendary Dizzy Trout. Orlando, Florida, Florida. Up next. Florida, Florida. Ooh, uh, Larry Seipel on the rookie card. 69 tops, 74 tops. Same picture, five years apart. 70 and 74. That's the rookie card, the 70. And he's carrying the ball, number 20. He also played running back and tight end. As you see there, his main position is tight end. Great season in 69. It's shown back here, probably, yeah. 41 receptions, 577 yards, led the Dolphins. And uh, as a tight end, led the, led the Dolphins in receiving and touchdowns. Great athlete. Math Bowler always looks for those pitchers who like to hit. How about punters who like to play other positions? We'll take them. Larry Seipel, 78-year-old, 11 seasons, 67 to 77, all for those Miami Dolphins, including those two Super Bowl champion seasons and Super Bowl seven and eight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Seven, eight, nine, ten days, no fee. Larry Seipel. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. That's how the envelopes usually come with that. Some printing errors or defects, ink spots. And Mike Haynes' video was pristine. Jim Kern, emo. That's really cool. 278. Didn't know if he signed duplicates or not. I guess we answered that. And the 83 Fleer, pretty cool. Jim Kern. 74-year-old right-handed pitcher. He played 13 seasons, 74 to 86. Put those two 78s together. Finished 53 and 57 overall, but he had 88 saves and three times an All-Star in Rolaids Relief Man of the World Award in 79. That's been out over a month. Three times an All-Star. Hold on just a moment. 
Okay, Jim Kern, 44 days. 44 days, no fee. Next up, Evansville, Indiana. You don't see many coming from Evansville, Indiana. Phil Roof, just got this back recently. Mail day video. Ooh, he went thin Sharpie, thick Sharpie. That's really cool. 74 tops, 67 tops, and then this rookie 65 stars. As I said before, Rudy May's very inconsistent. Fee constantly changing, and Marcelino Lopez is no longer with us. That card will probably be put to bed. I like the looks of it, though. I also like that 67 tops, of course. One of my favorite sets. And we got one and two. Phil Roof hooked us up. Five out of three. Quick return. He's 82 years old. Baseball family. Two brothers. Both played in the major leagues. And I think two other brothers played in the minor leagues. And then his sons played in the majors. Really cool. Phil Roof. Nine days, no fee. He's 82 years old. Catcher. 15 seasons. Played in 1961. Then went back to the minors. Then played consecutively from 64 to 77. And was a long-time coach after his playing days. Nine days, no fee. Phil Roof. Phoenix, Arizona. All the way to Tacoma. Philadelphia. Atlanta. L.A. Joe Youngblood. Nice autograph there. Joe Youngblood on his 77 tops. He does charge five bucks a pop. Get him on that rookie card. 71-year-old. And outfielder, 14 seasons. 76 to 89. Was an all-star in 81. World Series champ with the Reds this previous year to this. I guess he got caught up there. 75. Maybe he won at 76. Who knows? He know he won one ring. Claim to fame was being the only player to get Major League history to get a hit for two different teams in the same day. Mets versus Cubs. He was with the Mets in a day game. Back then, of course, Wrigley Field did not have lights. They played all their games a day. Then he was traded to the Expos, and they played in Philadelphia. That night, he got a hit with both teams. Only player to ever do that. Austin, Texas, Rio Grande District. Let me see here. Um, nine days. For Joe Youngblood. Nine days, Phil Roof. Nine days, Joe Youngblood. Austin, Texas. Rio Grande. I know it's Rio Grande. There's a college local to me called Rio Grande. Kelly Gruber. Nice. Great signature. Kelly Gruber, 17. Last time we got him, he sent a note that said, next time, please enclose a donation for my charities. So I did that, but I sent two index cards, and I thought I sent three cards and $10. He sent back two and two index cards. Must have kept one. That's fine. We're still trying to figure out his fee. 61-year-old. That's an 89 Bowman there. Kind of oversized, as you can see. Fills up your top loader all the way to the top. That's the 92 Fleur Ultra, which looks great with that blue ink. Blue, year, blue jerseys, blue background. Kelly Gruber's been out for a while. Third baseman, 10 seasons, 84 to 93. First nine with the Blue Jays, and then the last one with the Angels. Two times an All-Star, and it was a World Series champ. 92, traded before he won it in 93. Those Blue Jays repeated. Kelly Gruber was not there. They traded the Gold Glover and Silver Slugger winner from 92 to the Angels. So I sent three cards and $10. He sent two cards, two index cards. Pretty cool. It's been out a while. Let's see how that man's been out. 53 days, 53 days, Kelly Gruber. Kelly Gruber. Not bad. All right, this fellow didn't trust my Dollar Tree envelopes. Puts a piece of tape across there. Fine and dandy. From Pittsburgh, PA. That's Rick Kehoe on the rookie. Beauty. Signed all three. No index cards. Didn't know if he signed two Macs or three Macs. I didn't know at all, so I sent all three. Rick Kehoe, really great player. He's 71 years old now. Played forever. 17 seasons. 69 to 85. Brian Bachmeyer is going to love this return. Right winger. As you see there, Maple Leafs and then the Penguins. I remember him from the Penguins, of course. He played about 12 seasons with the Pens. And uh, Lady Bing Trophy in 81. Two-time All-Star. 
retired as the Penguins' leading scorer of all time in franchise history. I think he's fourth or fifth now, but he's a Penguins legend. He's in the Penguins' ring of honor at their old facility, which was the uh, Civic. No, let's see. Where'd they play? He, they had the ring of honor there. Now they have the uh, Hall of Fame at the new place, PPG Paints Arena. Well, that's pretty cool. And of course, so five days. I thought I just sent that out. Five days from Pittsburgh, Rick Kehoe. Always a quick return, but that, sir, you've outdone yourself. Five days, no fee, Rick Kehoe. West Palm Beach, Flirt to Flow Rider. Should have done all these Flirt to Flow Riders in a row. There's Joe Schmidt, Michael. Thank you for being a fan. You're welcome, sir. And there's the rookie again. 1956 tops, Joe Schmidt. Pretty decent condition, corner wise. Off center, left, right, top to bottom. That's fine. Boy, I wrote him a great letter. I said, when's the statue going up? And I proposed, if you guys have seen the Cathedral of Learning, tall, tall tower on the campus of University of Pittsburgh. I said, let's put the four football legends on each four of the, of the four sides of the Cathedral of Learning. From the 50s, Joe Schmidt. All-American, nine-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Fame College, Hall of Fame NFL. From the 60s, Mike Ditka. Uh, Joe Schmidt was born, raised in Brentwood, right outside of, uh, just out, across the river from downtown Pittsburgh. Mike Ditka from the 60s, Tony Dorsett from the 70s, and Dan Marino from the 80s. Marino from Central Catholic High School, right there, basically on campus. Dorsett from Aliquippa. And Ditka from Carnegie. Four local legends, four All-Americans, four football Hall of Famers. Yeah, put the statues up. So, And I sent 10 bucks too, because that was a rookie. And I remember one time he um, personalized that rookie card, and that was kind of depressing. Fresno, California. How long was that out? Just 10 days, $10, Joe Schmidt. Sent some... Jim Maloney, his rookie card on 61 tops with his MLB debut, 72760. One of my astute subscribers. When we got that in mail day, recommended I ask him for his debut. And uh, I decided to do that. And he, Jim M. He says, thanks, Jim M. Sweet. Jim M. Do we count that? Yeah, we'll count that. Two for one. Pretty cool. Hit my camera. Let's keep moving. We're up to 13 minutes already. Austin, Texas. Rio Grand District. I said it right, Rio. Louis Kelcher. Louis Kelcher on the rookie card. 78 and 283s. Didn't know if he signed duplicates. Sharpie's losing a little bit from that one to that one. That 78 rookie card looks great. Speaking of great, he was pretty great. Defensive tackle, big fella. 69-year-old defensive tackle. Put those two together. And 10 seasons, 75 to 84. First nine with the Chargers, and then the last one with the 49ers. And guess what he did in that last season? He won a Super Bowl ring. Those Niners, Super Bowl 19. Three times in the Pro Bowl, and he's in the Chargers Hall of Fame, as well as their 40th and 50th anniversary teams. 14 days, no fee for Louis Kelcher. And didn't say about Jim Maloney. He charges $5 per signature. And that was out 14 days. 14 days, $5. 14 days, free of charge, Louis Kelcher. Kansas City. Kansas City, last one. Kansas City, here I come. Dave LaRoche. Saw some other folks get him back. And that's pretty cool. Did he sign the note? He did not. Pretty cool. That's his rookie card, the 71 tops. Also the 79 and 74. Really cool. Dave LaRoche. Dad of Andy and Adam, two other major leaguers. We have a lot of family major leaguers here. Don't want to hide Joe Youngblood. Put Dave LaRoche up there. Really cool. All right, LaRoche, what? He's uh, 75 years old now. Finished 65 and 58 overall. 126 saves. Threw an Ephus pitch he called Lalab from La Roche. Lalab did not sign the note. Quite all right. 
And that's only been out a week, seven days. A lot of you guys were waiting uh, <laughs> over a year for that one. I waited seven lousy days. Saw Abe's cards get him back, Johnny Serena, I think, and uh, maybe Media Marauder. Someone else got him back this week, too. Well, that's it. What'd you think? Long video. Thanks for staying with me. Didn't have a video on Monday, so they're packed together now. 12 big responses, I think. And one, two Hall of Famers. First off the bat, Mike Haynes. That was pretty sweet on his rookie. Glad to see him back. Rick Kehoe's rookie. Joe Schmidt's rookie. Larry Seipel, rookie. Joe Youngblood. Dave LaRoche. A lot of rookie stars. Tell me what you think. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that icon right there. And then if you ring that bell or click all, you'll be notified of any future video that I post, including I try to do two TTM videos per week, usually on Mondays and Thursdays. This week was just a little bit different. But if you missed last Thursday's TTM video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today, though, and we will see you soon.